Hi everyone, so this is going to be a charm review, polymer clay charm review for Kitsana. And um, I cleaned them up as best as I could, but the um, cotton got stuck to them. So first, this is a little cupcake. And it's really well made. It has no um, dust, which is a good thing. And... The head pin is in there really good. And I think you did a great job on it. I love the color combination. And the two little eyes. Very cute. And then she made a strawberry cake. And I love the three strawberries. And the inside is very textured. Um, and the, the glaze on this one came out really good. And let me know what type of glaze you're using. So, and sorry about my nails. I've been working with clay and I need to clip them and stuff, so. Don't look at my grody nails. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I work a lot with my hands, so that's why they're all yucky. And then there's this Hello Kitty. Very cute. And got some of the cotton on there. And no dust. And she made a hole, so it's a bead. Or no. So I could stick an eye pin in there. No problem. But uh, yes, it's very cute. So there's that. And then the panda is the one that gave me the most trouble. I just could not get all the cotton off. Which is sad. But as for what I can see, it's well done. It has no dust. Um, the ears are very secure. And maybe what you could do is put a little um, mouth next time or maybe two little white dots here just to make it a little cuter. But it is super cute. Love it. And then this, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like a piece of chocolate to me. <laughs> the eye pin is very secure. And the cotton stuck to this one a lot. And I think it's the glaze you're using, so let me know what glaze you're using, sweetie. Um... I hate Sculpey Glaze because I it sticks like this and it cracks and I make a lot of jewelry pieces so jewelry pieces need to be you know be able to do deal with daily wear and tear so um yeah and these are charms so you know you're gonna wear them on your wrist so I need to know what glaze you're using because I would not recommend Sculpey Glaze alright so very cute very well made and then this one is a ramen bowl, at least I think it is, because that's what it looks like to me. And this is making me hungry now. The only thing about this one is that the glaze got clumped down here. So, I mean, you could just sand it. And I'm not sure, this looks like Sculpey glaze, I don't know. You let me know. But it's very um, cute, the bowl is very cute, and the little um, like vegetables are cute. And I see the noodles down there, and the chopsticks are cute. And the eye pin is very secure. Very cute and very well made. And there's no dust. There's no dust on your pieces. So, and then she made these little eclairs. And sorry once again for the cotton. I couldn't get them all off. And they're very well made. Maybe next time you could texture them on the back with a little piece of uh, aluminum foil crumbled up into a ball. Um, yeah, but they're very cute. The eye pins are secure. I checked them. And this one is bitten. Very cute. And yeah, so th there's her eclairs. Very cute. Yeah. And then I have, last but not least, um, some of these little cute little donuts. And these, I guess, are cappuccinos, so I can use these in my deco den. And this one is um, cho chocolate and blue frosting and strawberry frosting and they're very well made and then once again maybe you could texture the back of them next time but that's basically all I really have to say on these they're very cute so the charms are very well made very cute um, only thing is the glaze and maybe some more little texturing but besides that they're wonderful and I love them all so and as for your resin your resin is on point girl 
So maybe you could do more videos of a resin update or something like that. I would love to see it. And alright, so that's my um, charm review for Kitsana. So hope you guys like. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.